Traffic puts it in. So Melvin Edgem gets the scoring started. There are, boy, oh boy, looking around, probably 5,000 uh, kids here in the building on this Wednesday morning. And uh, as you can tell in the background, I don't think I really even need a crowd mic here tonight, but uh, they are going to be loud, and they all are uh, pretty uh, boisterous already. Ty Green, top of the key, 19-footer, no good. Nana Egwu with a rebound for Erie. So the Bayhawks lead it 2-0, 45 seconds in. Here's quickly Clark in the lane. He is outright grabbed by Eric Atkins, and then Edgem, and they're going to rule that one on the floor, so here he gets a break. Boy, Clark was right under the bucket. He was going to turn around and dunk it, but Atkins just grabbed it, so a great foul, I guess, in retrospect. Here's Clark up top, finds Rayleigh down the lane. He mishandles the pass, and it goes out of bounds on the baseline. Now, if the sevens are a little off kilter here today, it's perfectly understandable. First of all, Sean Kilpatrick, 30, so he'll be fits it to Atkins. Great ball movement, Cybert for three. Left side, he hits again. Unbelievable. Six for six from beyond the arc to start the game. They lead it 22 to five. Here's Clark up top, hands it to Ty Green. And he lobs it to the left wing. That's Sam Thompson, works his way in against Cyber. Tough shot on the move when he puts it in. So Sam Thompson gets his first bucket. So anyway, to get up at, well, I don't know, six, seven in the morning to get ready for this game. Here's Atkins, left wing, three-pointer, short. So that's Iziri's first miss from beyond the arc, and Russ Smith comes bursting out with a rebound. Takes it all the way to the opposite foul line and is shut off. Now he backs out to the top of the key, fires it back door, intercepted by Erie's Eric Atkins. So the Golden Domer with a steal there. Erie has it back halfway through the opening quarter, up by 12. Cabongo back halfway through the opening quarter, up by 12. Cabongo to Edgem up top, and now it's Cybert inside the right hash. Working against Thompson, puts it on the floor, fires a left corner to Atkins, now up top to Cabongo. He drives down the lane, runs right into Ty Green, and ripped it out of his hands and took a shot to the face. Thompson the other way, top of the key, dishes left side to Clark. Now Smith, left corner, three ball, got it. Russ Smith gets his first bucket of the day, and it's probably the first of many, and that cuts the ear out of as he goes running toward the lane. So that'll do it for the first quarter. And an exciting quarter it was, 12 minutes in, I suppose. <laughs> so Delaware has the ball to start the second period. As in the lineup for the first time, we'll get to that in a moment, as Wood down low in traffic misses and then tips it right back in. So Christian Wood gets his first bucket and gets the scoring started here. Cutting baseline, reverse layup, he puts it in. So Seibert gets his first conventional bucket. He's got eight points, and it's 32-27, Erie on top. Here's Parks near the left hash, dumps it to Wood in the mid-left post. Wood starts backing down Davis, turns and drops it, now picks it back up, and he's fouled. Davis got him on the arm on the way up. So that's Alex. This is his 19th game with the Sevens this year. Mentioned he was with the Sixers to start the season. Here's Harvey, right side, 22-footer, no good. Egwu with the rebound, backdoor feed to Harvey, and he lays it in. What a good look by Nana Egwu as he had his back to the basket when he caught that rebound and somehow knew that Harvey was cutting back door from the right wing. Here's Parks with a dribble driving lane. Oh, he traveled, and yep, they did get him for it. He can't believe it, but that was all back to Erie, leading 37-28. Atkins across, and now we have a whistle away from the ball. Something on, puts another thumbs up. And we shall resume. Got to keep in mind, you want to keep this game moving somewhat quickly because these kids have to get back to their respective schools to get their buses to go home. So here's Wood backing down Edgem in the right block. Turn around short. Rebound Tyler Harvey of Erie. Well, the Bayhawks have it back, leading by six. Harvey into the left forecourt. Now has it up top now to Atkins, who dribbles it right side all the way to the baseline, under the bucket, kicks it to Edgem. Edgem fakes a three against Wood, moves into the lane, little six-footer, and he hits the rainbow. So Melvin Edgem with 11 points here in the opening half, and it's 39-31, Erie on top. Here's Parks, pulls up inside the top of the key, 18-footer, no good. Egwu with a rebound for Erie. Harvey across the timeline, kind of dancing around behind Egwu. Back up top, Cybert's three is off the mark. Rick Jackson with a rebound for Delaware. So Parks brings it into the left forecourt to Wood up top, and he hands it to Kilpatrick. 
Kilpatrick, right side of the lane, shut off, kicks it back to Parks on the left perimeter. Down low it goes, that's Wood, posting up Davis in the left block, battles his way to the hoop, rejected by Davis, and Alex comes up with a loose ball. Here comes Atkins down the right side, drops it off for Seibert, and now Seibert quickly down the left side. Here's Davis driving baseline, he travels as he goes around Wood. So we have had, I think, four traveling calls here in the first half, here in the opening half, as they've been going up and down the floor. So here even a smaller lineup, Davis surrounded by swing men and guards right now. Here's Kilpatrick backing down Seibert in the left block. Good job defensively by Seibert as he forces the miss, and Davis comes up with a rebound. Here's Edgem right side, takes it to the rim. He misses the banker. Wood cuffs. Good job defensively by Seibert as he forces the miss, and Davis comes up with a rebound. Here's Edgem right side, takes it to the rim. He misses the banker. Wood cuffs the rebound with his right hand. So Parks will bring it down the left side, now to the top of the key, gets it to Wood on the right perimeter. Right wing now, it's Green, works his way to the right elbow, 15-footer, that's short. Davis with the rebound for Erie. They still lead it, 39-33. We have 5.35 to go. Guarded there by Kilpatrick, gets a screen from Davis, takes it right side, lost the dribble, got it on the baseline, somehow got it to Atkins from the right corner. His three's off the mark, and Green has the rebound for the sevens. Here comes Parks down the right side, stops, foul line extended, and bounces it down low to Wood in the right block. Over Edgem, off the glass, no good. Rebound taken by Harvey along the baseline on the left side. Harvey will bring it up for the Birds, who still lead it by six. No good. Rebound taken by Harvey along the baseline on the left side. Harvey will bring it up for the Birds, who still lead it by six. Gets a screen from Edgem, three-pointer, in and out. Wood has the rebound for Delaware. So the two teams are pushing it and getting good looks and just missing. Here's Parks down the lane with the dribble drive. Nice move, and he lays it in with the left hand. When you're Trevin Parks' size and you take it to the bucket, you better have a crafty array of shots. Fake one dribble, three-pointer hits. So Harvey's got a couple of threes. He's got eight points here in the opening half. Seems to be a better shooter after he does that pump fake and one dribble. It's sort of a timing mechanism. Here's Kilpatrick left side, lobs it out to Green on the right perimeter. He'll jack up a three-pointer, and he nails it over Seibert. So the teams trade threes, and it's 42-38. Erie on three-pointer, and he nails it over Seibert. So the teams trade threes, and it's 42-38. Erie on top. 3.52 now to go in the first half. Edgem with a straight on three. That's no good. Jackson clears the rebound for Delaware. Here comes Parks to Green, left wing. He'll try a three-pointer. That's off the mark. Edgem with the rebound. These teams are throwing up threes like uh, that's the preferred mode of putting the ball in the bucket here. Edgem in the ball in the bucket here. Edgem in the left block, sends it to Davis up top. Atkins now top of the key. Sets himself, left elbow jumper, hits. So Eric Atkins with five points here in the first half. Bayhawks on top, 44-38. We haven't had a dead ball since well, since that, I think when they cleaned up the floor. Here's Wood in the lane, hits a 14-footer. Back and forth we go, and we might have to, unfortunately, have to have another mandatory timeout, but uh, I guess that's the price you pay for continuous action like we just saw. Delaware has the ball, a little full-court pressure from the Birds here, but Russ Smith bringing it up against Mike Cabongo. You're going to have a hard time stopping Russ Smith in the backcourt. He's got it right side as he works his way in the lane, kicks it left corner to Ty Green. Green pulls up left wing, fouled, missed the 12 footer, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. And station to the airport, call Hanson's Air and Service at 455 1960. Cabongo, by the way, hits two out of every three free throw attempts. Second try, and he missed that one. So he's 67% coming in, and that just fell. 51 42, Russ Smith has it for Delaware in the right forecourt. Clark sends it to Green, left. Hash. He works his way around Atkins and has fouled on his way down the lane. That's the fourth team foul on the Bayhawks as then Atkins and Green went crashing. Seibert will shoot the free throw. We got a fan sitting at the opposite end wearing a fighting Illini sweatshirt, so perhaps there's a connection there as Hegru hits the second free throw. Sitting with a gentleman wearing a Bears sweatshirt, so they are showing their colors unless... They're just fans of those particular entities. As here's Ty Green with an 18-footer hitting from the right side. So 63-54, Bayhawks on top, 7.55. 53-54, Bayhawks on top, 7.55 to go third quarter. 
Atkins between the circles, works against Ty Green, fires it right side to Seibert, drives baseline, bounces it down low. Miss Lots of time to go in this one. And Bayhawks getting a little loose with the basketball here in the third quarter. Green with a leaning 20-footer from the top of the key, no good. Edgem has the rebound for Erie. Edgem's going to go coast to coast right down the lane, kicks it left here in the third quarter. But uh, so far, uh, they have been unable to capitalize as Erie has the ball. And that eight-point lead. Here's Atkins driving left side to the rim. No good on a running layup. David Laurie with a rebound for Delaware. Smith sends it left side to Ty Green. Atkins bodies up on him as he goes left corner. Kilpatrick for three, no good. But an offensive foul called on Green as he passed to the corner to Kilpatrick. Ty Green out of the universe. Uh, that school scores on the bottom of the screen recently. Here's an alley-oop. Uh, Atkins to Davis. Davis caught it. Couldn't get the alley-oop part of it, but then he laid it in. So that is points five and six for Davis today. Russ Smith goes right by Cabongo and then kicks it back outside to Clark. Now right side, Kilpatrick into the right corner, back to Russ Smith, and Smith, uh, I think, was fouled on the way through. No, this is going to be the D-League. So the Bayhawks get it back, leading 68-57. So just like that, the Bayhawks have exploded, and Kevin Young is livid. Well, back here at the Erie Insurance Arena. Erie on top, 73-57. Here's Ty Green, right side for the Delaware 87ers. Up top, he lobs it to Russ Smith. Now on the left side of the lane, that's Earl Clark. 12-foot jumper and hits over Igwu. So Clark, team. Here's Atkins up top. Gets a screen from Davis, and that's got to be a foul on Davis there as he gave a shot, and it is. So Davis picks up his second as he gave Ty Green. They come here today, and they've got some calls that have gone against them. you got the kids in the crowd singing a Disney movie song during the time out. <laughs> I could see it would be understandable if they became unraveled, but here's Earl Clark knocking down a 16-footer near the foul line again. Well, they have plenty of time and plenty of talent. They're down time and plenty of talent. They're down 73-61. We still have three and a half to go here in the third period. Here's Atkins between the circles. Goes right wing to Harvey. He's going to jack up a three-pointer. That's off the back of the rim. Rebound taken by Ty Green of Delaware. They're just chipping away here as Green works in the lane with a running 10-footer, and he got the bounce. Nine points for Ty Green, and six quick ones for the sevens. They've pulled back to within 73, Nana Egwu. So Egwu gets the double digits now, and it's a 77-66 Bayhawk lead. 2.05 to go in the third. Russ Smith left side, gets it to Clark, thought about the three, puts it on the floor, works his way in the lane, lobs it to Green, overthrew him, Green makes a nice catch after he tipped it to himself. Down low, Kilpatrick, right block, rejected by Davis, here come the Hawks out the back door. Atkins is fouled by Green as he was heading toward the bucket. So Tiger never touched the ball and he sits back down. 11 point Erie lead, less than a minute to go here in the third. Here's Russ Smith between the circles. Cabongo on him as he takes it right side, now finds Laurie at the top of the circle. Lori works against Davis, shut off at the left elbow, fires it now to the right side to Clark. Six to shoot as he bounces it down to Thompson, posting up in the right block. Kicks it outside, a three-pointer from Clark. Oh, and he got the roll as he hit the rim, the board, and the rim and went in. So Clark to the top of the key. Backdoor alley, oop, and Egwu fires it home. So Nana Egwu now with 12 points on the night to go along with 12 rebounds. It's 83-77, Birds. Here's Smith penetrating left side, shut off along the side of the lane, gets it to Laurie up top. Now Clark, three-pointer right side, no good. Egwu has his 13th board for the Bayhawks. Atkins into the left forecourt to Egwu up top. Egwu up top, gets it to Harvey, who bobbled it. Now he's going to fire a 20-foot jumper. That's no good. Laurie with the rebound. Bill Peterson not thrilled about the shot selection right there. Here's Clark right side to kill Patrick up top. Takes it to the right elbow, double team, gets it back to Clark at the top of the key. Left side, Russ Smith hoists the three-pointer. That's no good. Egwu with his 14th rebound. Oh, his outlet pass went off Seibert's back, and Kilpatrick has the interception. And now it's poked right side to Kilpatrick up top. Takes it to the right elbow, double team, gets it back to Clark at the top of the key. Left side, Russ Smith hoists the three-pointer. That's no good. Egwu with his 14th rebound. Oh, his outlet pass went off Seibert's back, and Kilpatrick has the interception. And now it's poked away from Russ Smith, but it goes out of bounds on the baseline. So Nana Egwu a little upset with himself. He got it between the shoulder blades, and Kilpatrick was there to scoop it up. 
And now Kilpatrick, right corner, 18 set with himself. He got it between the shoulder blades, and Kilpatrick was there to scoop it up. And now Kilpatrick, right corner, 18-footer short. Edge him with a long rebound. He's on the run. One-on-one -on -one against Sam Thompson. Down the lane he goes, off the glass short. Clark with the rebound for the sevens. Oh, a missed opportunity there. Smith goes coast to coast. Off balance, runner, no good. Lowry has the weak side rebound. A couple of pump fakes, and he puts it in. So David Lowry, all five, hands it to Harvey, left side. He steps back to the top of the key and bounces it to Nana in the left block. Back outside to Harvey. He'll try a three-pointer. That's off the mark. Rebound Lowry of the sevens. They're down by four. Here's Smith's pass deflected by Atkins, but Smith gets it right back. Up top it goes to Lowry. In the lane with the dribble drive over. Egwu off the glass, no good. Edgem has the rebound for Erie. So Atkins will slow things down here with a four-point lead in eight college. Notre Dame and Louisville in the ACC. Here's Edgem on the left wing. Working there against Clark. Gets it to Egwu at the foul line. His 15-footer's no good. And a rebound taken by Earl Clark, another Louisville product. So here's Kilpatrick near the right hash. Now he works his way to the top of the key, and he is down the lane with a dribble drive. No good. Atkins has the rebound. Kevin Young can't believe there's no foul called. I'm kind of surprised myself. Here's Atkins in the left forecourt. They've crawled all the way back, and they're finally tied. They still have not led yet in this ball game. As here's Davis, top of the key, 19-footer hits. Alex Davis with 10 points. Bayhawks back on top, 87-85. Here's Smith on the left perimeter against Cabongo. Works his way into the lane. Straight down the key. And Egwu rejects his layup attempt. Oh, and a late whistle. And this is going to go again. Smith is 2 of 1. Here's Atkins beyond the top of the key. Laurie on him. Sends it left side to Seibert, who gets it back from the postman and banks it in weak side. Going to say reverse layup, but it's more of a shot after he went under the bucket. Here's a pass deflected, but Kilpatrick has it left side. Works his way in the lane with the dribble drive. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two as Edgem picks up his third personal foul. Nuggets because he's got the brand new shoes of our mandatory timeout coming up after the three minute mark. That was just a challenge. So each team has lost a timeout in challenging foul calls here in the last couple of minutes as Edgem hits the second, and the Birds are up 92 91. Here's Russ Smith up top with the dribble. Edge him on him now after a switch. Kicks it right side. Thompson for three, and he hits. Well, Sam Thompson is not the three-point threat that is at the top of your mind when you play this team, but he knocks down that. Out of bounds off Russ Smith. Erie gets a huge break right. Oh, no, it's going to be Delaware ball, and they're going to look, and they're not going to be able to catch the end of this one. you got some schools that came from as far as 20 miles away, so they... Had to leave without seeing the conclusion of this one. Smith across the timeline to Earl Clark on the right perimeter. Working against Edgem, puts it on the floor, pulls up at the block, bounces it down low, stolen away by Nana Egwu. Big play by the big man. Erie gets it back with 1.40 to go. They let him out. This one, go Atkins and Seibert. Kilpatrick with 14 on the shot clock, inbounds at the right hash in the forecourt. Gives it to Russ Smith up top. Cabongo with this tough defensive assignment. Dribbling outside the top of the key. Gets it to Kilpatrick, left of the circle. Six to shoot it. Seibert's on him. Gets a screen from Laurie. Goes down the lane. He dumps it down low to Thompson. It goes off his hands and out of bounds. And they're going to have to look at this one. This is a huge call. One third will put it in play. Atkins on the left wing with the dribble. Now he picks it up. Lobs it down low to Edgem, who gets loose in the left block. Short on his try. His tip is short. And it's cleared with 11 seconds left by Laurie. Down by two. Here come the sevens. Smith brings it into the right forecourt. He picks up his dribble. Atkins is right in his face. Pass deflected. Kilpatrick has it. It's knocked away and taken away. But it may be a foul. I'm not sure. Yep, a season. With half a second to go. Cabongo now with 15 points. And his second try is no good. And there's the rebound. And the advance the ball. They don't have a timeout left, but to give him the three feet as he inbounds it. Thompson will put it in play on the left sideline. Sends it up top, and Clark caught it and shot it. It was no good, but it wouldn't have counted anyway because you can't catch and shoot it in two-tenths of a second. So a big win for the Bayhawks here.